Spain's Prime Minister is celebrating Sunday's election result, but he knows too well the night didn't belong to him alone. His governing Socialist Party won the most seats, but fell short of a majority. Pedro Sanchez had hoped the poll would strengthen his party's position, but the result seems to have done the opposite. He now has fewer seats in Spain's 350-seat parliament, whereas the far-right Vox Party has more than doubled its share since the last election in April. Today, we are Spain's third political force. We have 52 lawmakers, and apart from that, during these elections, we are the party which gained more votes and seats. Analysts say Vox was helped by an anti-separatist feeling that has grown in response to the pro-Catalan independence movement. But Sanchez has made it clear who he is willing to work with. We call on all political parties, except those that exclude themselves from coexistence and plant a discourse of hate and anti-democracy. This was Spain's fourth election in as many years. Sunday's result is unlikely to resolve the political deadlock. Sanchez's left-wing allies also suffered. To form a government, the prime minister might have to reach out to his rivals, the Conservative People's Party, or consider a third election in just one year. Despite the stakes, many people stayed away from the voting booths on Sunday, a sign that Spaniards are tired of repeat elections and the deadlock. It's been a mistake to repeat the elections. The situation is worse than a few months ago. In Catalonia, there is still an incontestable support for independence. We must find a political solution to this situation. And with the current result, it is more difficult than before. With neither the left nor the right gaining an outright majority, what are the chances of Spain forming a government in the coming weeks? Haider Abbasi, The Newsmakers.